Hello everyone, now let us discuss about ICD-11, which is nothing but 11th revision of International Classification of Diseases. ICD-11 is the 11th revision of International Classification of Diseases and ICD is the basis for identifying and analyzing global health trends and statistics, providing a universal language, which is nothing but code set and rules that allows the healthcare professionals around the world to share information. Countries have begun reporting health data using ICD-11 as of Jan 1st, 2022, according to the timeline set by World Health Organization following the acceptance on May 25th, 2019 by 194 member states who make up WHO. Additionally, many countries use ICD modifications such as United States, there, they are using ICD-10 CM. CM is nothing but clinical modification. Whether and how the United States will implement ICD-11 remains to be seen. The ICD-11 classification system underwent a major redesign. It is now structured as a database that can include more than dozen dimensions with changes ranging from making it more IT friendly and better able to support data collection on morbidity to lowering the cost. It will also have a new name which is nothing but ICD-11 for mortality and morbidity statistics, ICD-11 MMS. These advancements have made ICD-11 more intricate and comprehensive than it precedes. It is capable of linking with other ICD classifications. One more additional feature for ICD-11 is it is capable of linking with other ICD classifications such as International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health, ICF, or International Classification of Primary Care, which is nothing but ICPC, and the SNO-MEDCT and Orphanet Terminology System. It can link with these other classification systems also. In addition to being able to produce digital documentation, one more thing is ICD-11 is completely digital. In addition to being able to produce digital documentation on a granular level, it is ICD-11 for the first time will enable dual coding of traditional medicinal diagnosis alongside mainstream medicine and now also permits the generation of functioning score based on the WHO Disability Assessment Schedule, WHO DAS, according to the WHO Implementation or Transition Guide, which you can find in that respective page. Coming to the new futures in ICD-11. The main new two futures of ICD-11 are extensions and clusterings. An ICD-11 extension is a non-diagnosis code that adds flexibility to the classification. Extensions cannot be used alone. Extension is a non-diagnosis code. It adds flexibility to the classification. It cannot be used alone, but rather are intended to be added to the STEM code, which is the main diagnosis code, replacing the ICD-10 adjunct codes. Extension codes are appended to describe laterality, acuity, severity, and other dimensions of injury and external causes. They are a non-diagnosis code. The next is clusterings. Cluster coding is combining. Cluster indicates combining. Cluster coding is combining two or more ICD-11 codes to describe a documented clinical concept. Clustering is the future that enables linking. It creates the ability to link one core diagnostic concept which is nothing but STEM code concepts when designed and or add clinical concepts can captured in extension codes to primary STEM codes. It links the diagnosis, diagnosis codes or the non-diagnosis codes. Cluster coding refers to a convention where a with operator, either a forward slash as you can see here, Either a forward slash can be used or an Amsterdam can be used to link the ICD-11 codes together to create a diagnostic sentence. Let us see an example. The 
then you will understand better in cluster coding either use either you will use a forward slash or a amsterand to link the icd11 codes together to create a diagnostic sentence now you can see the icd11 coding tool in the respective who page where you can simply type the diagnosis and below it you can find the respective code let us see the example of diabetes mellitus with cataract left eye cataract under it you can find 9b10.21 and xk8 and this is further expandable it indicates diabetic cataract diabetes mellitus type unspecified left eye the icd11 code for diabetes mellitus type 2 with left diabetic cataract is 9B10.21 to indicate diabetic cataract followed by XKG8. This is the complete code. Previous In the previous slide, you can find XKG. XKG8 indicates left side followed by 5A11 indicates type 2 diabetes mellitus. So, this is the complete sentence, diagnostic sentence 9B10.21. And here AND is used to link two ICD codes, XK8G and forward slash is used followed by 5A1111 to indicate type 2 diabetes mellitus. 9B10.21 is indicated for diabetic cataract followed by XK8G for left side followed by 5A11 or 11 for type 2 diabetes mellitus. Our ICD 10 CM code for diabetes mellitus is E11.36. E11.36 indicates type 2 diabetes mellitus with diabetic cataract. Whereas ICD 11 code is 9B10.21 and XK8G slash 5A11. It would be premature to speculate when the United States will be prepared for migration to ICD 11 for mortality. And whether ICD-11 will be adequate as a morbidity classification system or whether NCVHS will need to develop a clinical modification as was done for ICD-9 and ICD-10. And ICD-11 has a projected release date, ICD-11 CM, CM means nothing but clinical modification has a projected release date of 1st October 2025 in the United States. If there is any further delay, if a clinical modification is determined to be needed and ICD-11 implementation might not begin until 2027. Though the timing and many other details remain uncertain, planning for the transition to ICD-11 is definitely underway. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.